Today we're back with a series that I haven't done a while here in Clash of Clans, the Random Clan series. And today we're here inside of Going Deep. Super stoked to bring back this series because it's always fun to randomly come to clans and see what kind of strategies they're using in war, their wins, their losses, literally everything that they do. So we're going to be exploring that here today together. Remember to make sure you use code ECHO whenever you buy gems in the game or your season pass. We're going on into the current war right now and we need to see what the best attack was. So let's see right here. The, the first attack or at least the attack against the highest base is right here against base number two. It's the name I can't read. What's he got? He drags. You had to know he was coming in with the Electro Dragons. We have Achilles out of Going Deep coming on in with that early rage spell, dropping it right there, clearing that out pretty nicely. Worked really nice. Now, the base being attacked here is not max level, yet of course it has two scatter shots that aren't max. The Infernos are not max. Another E drag coming in from the outside. Now, you guys need to know Electro Dragons are the official two-star strategy of clash of clans it used to be go wipe in the past but nowadays it's e-drags it's just how it is there's nothing else you could say about it and look at this that wizard tower took down that electro dragon now i have to say funnel was started pretty well right here by achilles it was not bad electro dragons got some really good value now all the e-drags can be dropped right over here and they'll surge and they will get that town hall securing the two-star for sure but that's why I call this the two-star strategy of Clash of Clans. Oh, what what is even going on? Why is he coming in with Electro Dragon on that side? All right, not at all what I would have thought. Okay, I guess he's narrowing down the base right now. So he used three rage spells, I believe, to... And a wall wrecker? Why not a log launcher? Totally would have rather seen two... He got no value out of that. I would have loved to have seen... A, a, a stone slammer, a log launcher, shoot, even a blimp would be better than that wall wrecker did. The wall wrecker did absolutely nothing for the attacker. May as well have just gone on or in with regular no siege whatsoever, no siege attack. Good job with the Grand Warden's ability going on through. We saw the champion's ability being popped as well. I guess the wall wrecker opened up one tier of wall just to allow the heroes on in at least. Uh, I mean, the 64% two stars already secured. Now we have a... What is this? Lassie and the Queen stuck on there? All right. These are fun. Are you starting to see why I love the Random Clan series? Do you see why it's fun to come to clans and see what general players inside of the game, not pro players, not some of the best players, just regular Clash of Clans players like you, like me, are doing inside of the game? Well, this one is going to come to an end very quickly because, well, first of all, I just dumped in four times speed. But also, yeah, the attack was just ending. So we saw the attack on the highest base so far this war. Let's go and find the first three star. And here we go. Base number 13 was tripled by attacker number seven. This is a town hall 13 being attacked by a town hall 14, it seems. And you know what? Can you guess the strategy? Although it's right here in front of you? Of course. King Bruce is bringing in, also, Electro Dragons. Am I going to see more than just Electro Dragons inside of this video today? I hope so. We may have to go to the other side of the war and see what they're actually doing over there. Not bad, though. Okay, the funnel's being set fairly well. Remember, this is a three-star, but when you look at the heroes, you see those pets and you say, oh, well, we must be looking at a Town Hall 14 attacking a Town Hall 13, which in Clash of Clans is a dip. But that's okay. Oh, wow. The champion on the defending side. The defending... Another one right here. Going super, uh, super weird with the E-Drags. Really spreading them out. I guess what they try and do... Okay, at least the log launchers in here. I guess what they try and do is go on in on a narrow base. Now, I would have done this completely different. I would have come in from the bottom of the base so I could have taken out the scatter shots and the Eagle Artillery before getting to the Town Hall. I guess King Bruce was not confident that he was going to be able to pull in the Town Hall. So he went in from the closer side to the Town Hall, which means his Electro Dragons and his Balloons, well, they're going to take more fire from the Eagle Artillery and from the Scatters. Mind you, Scatters look to be level 1, so they're not exactly high-level Scatter Shots. 
but that's I mean look at these balloons the balloons are staying up are they being tanked or are the scatter shots just such low level yeah those scatter shots are low level you see that e-drag just do a nice shot on that scatter all right so we have ourselves two electro dragon attacks not bad a two star and a three star remember three stars win wars two stars you can get lucky and win wars and one star as well you don't want to get one stars so don't use e-drags guys so let's see if we can find a different strategy let's go on the hunt all right so two bases down we have jables the number 12 going into the number 15. this is most likely going to be a 12 v 12 or 13 v 13. looks like it is a okay it looks like it's a 13 v 12 still a dip coming on this time with the miners they love those wall wreckers too all right we got the queen charge why all those balloons why all those balloons you need one balloon for a Coco Loon to clear the skies for your healers. You don't need six. Wow. Okay, that was quite a bit of a waste on those balloons, in my opinion. Uh, yeah. About 30 camp space wasted right there. King's ability popped super early. At least we have a, a skin purchases here. Remember, use code ECHO whenever you purchase skins or anything inside of Clash of Clans. Wall Wrecker here at least is going to let the heroes in to the Town Hall. Guys over here in Going Deep, I want to let you know... Well, that's why they like to go deep into the base, which is why they use the wall wrecker. Makes sense. Makes sense? Makes sense. But I highly suggest switch it out for the log launcher. Log launcher is meta. Means it's better. Queen charge is looking nice. We have a rage spell in the back pocket. A freeze spell too. Well done. At least we got different a different strategy, right? I didn't want to see another Electro Dragon hit. And we did not see another Electro Dragon hit. This one came through fairly well. Although it was a dip. Where's that? Oh, we got to use the Queen's ability right there. Oh, no. Saving it. Preserving the Queen's ability. And a nice drop there on the Rage spell as well. Got to give credit where it's due. Listen, mistakes can be made in attacks. Listen, I make them all the time. With that being said, I am going to attack in this video. But even though I make mistakes, uh, I can appreciate good placements of things in attacks even when others make mistakes or when there's dips or whatever i just like nice clashy clans attacks and it's that simple as was this attack by jables 87 so now i want to go all the way to the bottom of the war we're going to take a look at the lowest base we're going to go take a look at loyal and let's see what this looks like let's just check it out okay wow oh wow well, look at this what what are even what are we even a baby town hall 12 rushed versus a minor valkyrie witch it's a bow witch bow va no this is there's no such strategy as this this is not a strategy that i've ever seen before which is fine which means it's fun and loyal is at number 18 so at least we don't have like a number two attacking a number 20 because that wouldn't be fair look at that cute little town hall that cute little tesla man remember those days when you had a tesla that was that small but now you're big and an adult and you have a bigger tesla look at this bowlers literally the bowlers are crushing this base in their own i wonder if you could have just thrown in the bowlers with some healers and let them take out the base themselves very fast attack Hero's ability still intact. Again, you know, weird attack. Valkyries do shred through through things, though. So you got to give love to anyone using Valkyries. No matter what base they're attacking, if you're using Valkyries, you have my respect. Thank you for giving the redheads just a little bit of love. And it's only right if we head on over to the other side of the war to give respect to the opponent. A clan that I don't even... Can't even read the name. Do they have any triples? Looks like they have one triple right here. 14 v 14. So it's a mirror attack. And we have a Town Hall 13 attacking a Town Hall 14, I believe. I could be wrong there. Battle Blimp coming on in. Lava Hound leading the way for the Blimp. Quite an investment there to get the Blimp all the way in. Oh, oh snap. They're using legit stuff. They are using something that I love. Utilizing those Super Wizards to shut down everything super wizards rage spells invisibility spell bye bye center of the base it's the blizzard coming through so i have respect for clan that i can't read utilizing something that's actually current meta very nice stuff but we do have defend were there even defending troops in the clan castles on the other side 
I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what we got over here, though. Baby dragons just continuing that funnel. King's going to come through. But it looks like, is there a witch or just the skeletons from that witch? Looks like it's just the skeletons. So that should be fairly easy to get through. Man, the baby dragon ate that black bomb. Oh, there is a witch. The queen right in front of that witch right now. Take her down. Oh, look at that. Level 4 champion coming on in without anything tanking for it. You really want to have something tanking for your champion so that your champion is not being directly targeted to get that value. Wizard Tower will go down, though. Champion's ability will be popped. Clean out a few other things in the base, but not much is left. Remember, Sui heroes are coming in on this one. That means suicide heroes, heroes that are going to die. Oh. Oh. Did the champion's ability even happen? I don't think so. Here comes the Lava Hound, and here come the Balloons. In from the eastern side. Don't tell me they went from the other side, too. No, okay. We're all good. Lava Hounds from up north, from the east. Not bad placement on the Hounds and the Balloons. Five Balloons in the back pocket. I love that. That's really good. Two Haste Spells, a Rage Spell, and two Freeze. I wouldn't mind seeing a Rage Spell being used right over this Expo. Let's see if they follow my directions. Rage! Now! No, they hasted. Okay, at least they went with one of the spells. Either one works out pretty well. Haste is going to make your troops faster, but not stronger. Rage spells will make your troops stronger and faster, but not as fast as haste spells. He froze the uh, the cannon, although the cannon couldn't shoot anything because only air troops were left. With one balloon in the back pocket being dropped in for good measure, nice attack against going deep on this one. Maybe the best attack that we saw here today. But let's change that because it's time for your boy to do an attack. Now I requested troops and going deep filled me up in the clan castle, gotta say, thank you. I love that, I appreciate that. I owe you some troops, but do I even have my heroes ready to go? They need six minutes. These darn heroes, they always like to take their time. Well, let me show you something else that we can do though. Check this out. My pet house, boom. We can get a pet to another level. But before I do that, because I have plenty of Dark Elixir, I'm going to use my Unicorn with my Royal Champion on this attack we're about to see. Then we're going to upgrade the champ, the Unicorn, not the Champion. Champion's already max level. We're going to upgrade the Unicorn to max level. It's going to be awesome. So let's do it. The army we're going to go in with is the Hybrid. And I go in with a Log Launcher with a Bomb inside with a couple of Yeti, a Valkyrie, and a Barbarian just to get the queen into the base. And then those, you know, those, the Valk and, and the Yeti, they kind of just, they kill stuff in the base. So let's, let's try that out. Usually this has been working pretty good. I promise. Champion, wake up. Woken up. King, wake up. Woken up. Looks like we are just about ready to go right now. Heroes are up. Army's trained. CC's full. Let's find a base. Dark Elixir, check. Elixir, check. Gold. A little low. Base, fairly easy. This is one that I want to go farm against. Remember, guys, we are in Titan 3 right now. I just dropped from Titan 1 last night. You know, there's no need for me to go rocking that high-level stuff. I just want to get some loot so I can upgrade my base, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. We got the funneling starting here. We got the... this. This is good. Okay, we're going to get the log launcher behind. Waiting for that queen to take some kind of fire so that the king doesn't steal the healers. Pop the king's ability and the queen. Will she eventually step on in? There we go. I mean, I'm going to drop the healers now. Hopefully they go to that queen. Eagle artillery is going to go down. That worked out well. Queen does have the healer. And uh, this is working out pretty nicely. We, I'm basically narrowing down the base here. Oh, no. King stole healers. King takes healers. Queen will now struggle. We need the freeze spell. I'm going to put it right here. Uh-oh. I'm a little bit in trouble. There's literally one. No, Queen's ability. Pop. Auto pop. Here we go. Let's get her back up to life. Wow. That was definitely a close call. We're going to go put a little freeze spell on all this. Queen will hopefully get that scatter shot. No, she goes down. All right. That's okay. Ah, the king. The king. Stealing those healers. That's what he's best at. Boom. Boom. We're going to get the hogs in as well. All things are in. Things are looking good. We're going to pop the scatter right there. Boom. We're going to heal up everything right here. Boom. We're going to rage up right here. I want to get through that scatter shot as quickly as possible. I don't want the champion to go down. We're good. Here we are. We got the Grand We got the grand Warden. Let's pop that ability for the Grand Warden. It's a very high heat situation in the center of the base. But the Grand Warden... Oh my god, the scatter shot's just getting healed up, by the way. Uh, so yeah, that's not good. Battle Builder's doing what they do best. 
This base should easily be crushed by me. It really should. I have not much of an excuse to not shut down this base. Um, and I should be able to. I'm just worried about that scatter shot. I don't have any more heal spells. As soon as the bows start to go down, I am in that heal right now. Miners are, are distracting a little bit, but oh goodness. Champion is going to go down. Let's get this down first. Boom, popper ability. We at least hit the scatter, but the darn battle builder healed it up. Come on, can we get it down? Oh, we do have the healer. We do have our unicorn. Yes, we got it down. The rest of the base should be okay. Champion, though, she's hurt. She's actually hurt more than hurt. She's dead. She died. We do have some wizards, though, which can help clean up the back end of the base. There we go. Miners should be able to close out the rest of this. There's only an inferno. That's not scary, especially when you have a unicorn, which I've never really played much with because it's always, it's always upgrading. And it's going to be upgrading in a minute because I'm about to do that again. But we came on through here with about 15 seconds left in the attack. We pulled in the three star. We grabbed all the juicy loot. And now we have more dark elixir to upgrade our unicorn. Let's go. As I promised, the unicorn deserves her upgrade. The champion will appreciate it. Level four, going to level five in four days and nine hours. It's done. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you sub for regular Clash Clans videos and come back for more. Leave a comment below too, so I can say hi and be good.